Hi, I'm Stuart. I'm a chartered physiotherapist based in the UK. I'm here today to talk about the contour mouse and its use as a prescription to ease pain and suffering in workers with upper limb pain in the office environment. The problem with the traditional mouse is that the hand is held in a pronated position, that's palm down. Over a period of time, the tension of having to hold the arm and the hand in this pronated position builds up and accumulates till it starts presenting in pain patterns, which can be from the fingertips right up into the neck in some cases. Combine this with the idea that the arm is held away from the body, which has a similar effect, and it's not a surprise that many people over a course of a lifetime of office work start developing neck and shoulder pain. The first element we need to look at for reducing pain in the upper limb is the zones of work or where you're using your mouse in a day-to-day -day basis. If you are working with the inside point of your elbow away from your ribs, you're working with a long lever arm and this increases the fatigue and vulnerability that you will have to have pain in the upper limb. Always work with the elbow down towards the ribs and your hand in a relaxed position near the front of the desk. The contour mass is also designed with a thumb wheel at the side so that it can comfortably be used as a scrolling wheel with minimum effort of the hand. One of the key issues that you need to explore when trying to reduce pain is how you grip the mouse. If you're using a good quality mouse such as the contour mouse you will find that as it's sculptured to fit the hand, you'll need less tension anyway. But what you also need to consider is how tightly you grip it and how long you grip the mouse. It, what we don't want is a situation where you spend your entire working day and your hand does not leave the mouse. You need to let go and relax your hand and move back to it. What you also need to consider is how you use click function. The reason that it is important to not use just the tip of your finger to touch and click is that it's a very precise motor movement that actually takes a lot of energy and a lot of precision and therefore fatigue will set in. If you're using a gross finger movement just as flicking down with the whole of the finger it's far more relaxed as a motion and less fatigue will result. Another consideration we need to think about when trying to reduce pain in the upper limb when you're sitting at your desk is whether you're making contact with the back of your chair. If you're not making contact with the back of the chair, what tends to happen is you slump forward with the mouse and the keyboard away from your body. So this is an unsupported position and the fatigue of holding this position will eventually lead to a vulnerability to pain. So what you need to do is move your body to the back of the chair and sit comfortably resting against the back of the chair in a relaxed position. And then move the keyboard and the mouse towards your body to reduce the vulnerability to pain. Another element we need to consider if we're trying to reduce pain in the upper limb when you're working is micro breaks. There's now very strong scientific evidence to say that taking a break of one or two minutes every hour away from the desk or in a position that is not on a keyboard and mouse is essential to stop the buildup of fatigue. And fatigue, of course, as we know, is the vulnerability to lead to pain. So every hour, just for a minute or two, if you're not getting up, just spend some time sitting back on the chair, moving your hands away from the keyboard. Even if you've got the best quality equipment available, such as the contour mouse, you still need to be taking micro breaks because it does not stop the long-term buildup of fatigue. Why might you choose the contour mouse as part of your solution to resolve your pain? Firstly, it is a well-established product on the market and has a good track record as an ergonomic mouse. The sculptured surface means that it feels very relaxed in the hand and of course is available in small, medium and large to fit everybody's hand. So if you're looking for a mouse that is going to help you control your pain, I think the contour mouse is a good option. If you have pain, I do suggest that you see your general practitioner or your physiotherapist to discuss with them whether you have serious pathology. However, most upper limb disorders are not serious and 
by doing good, simple ergonomic adjustments in your working practice and using ergonomic equipment can often resolve the issues.